everyone. Thank you for joining us on Discussions with the Fashion Masters. My name is Deanna Hansen. I'm a certified athletic therapist and the founder of Fluid Isometrics and Block Therapy. I'm being joined by my nephew, Quinn Castellane, VP of Block Therapy and a lead block therapist, and our very special guest, Jeff Brown. And now I just want to preface by saying, I really don't know anything about nutrition. I've, I've taken some courses and I've done some stuff and I do my best to eat clean, organic, and I listen to my body, but when it comes to giving advice on nutrition, I steer clear of this. So as this is the year for kids, when I was researching some stuff on Facebook, I came across Jeff and his kids line. And I immediately reached out because it really resonated with me and I wanted to learn more. And once I reached out to Jeff, he's in Toronto. So of course, another Canadian, which is wonderful. Um, I, I just knew that there was something really great here. So Jeff, please share with us what you do, who you are, the products that you use, and give us a little bit of insight and information on to why it's so important these days to really understand what we're putting in our mouths. I understand the whole world is uh, strained with the chemicals we put into our foods and all of these different things. So help us understand how to eat clean and how to be really, really great so that we can feed our kids what they need to thrive. Okay. Um, well, how long do we have? As long as you <laughs> I want. I guess is the first question. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, first of all, thank you guys for having me on this morning. This is uh, this is great, and I've I really enjoyed getting getting to know you guys and what you're doing, and and you know the the fact that we've discovered a, a common path here is is a lot of fun, and uh, I, I love that we're talking about about kids today. Um, you know, so my name's Jeff Brown. I'm a what I call a superfood entrepreneur. Um, and if you're looking for me on a hashtag, you'll find me probably under certified organic dad. Uh, that's kind of my, my thing these days. Um, you know, I, um, quick backstory on why I do what I do. I grew up as a fast food kid. And I think a lot of folks in my generation did, you know, it was kind of when that, uh, marketing power was real strong. Uh, so, you know, whether it was McDonald's or KFC or Frosted Flakes or whatever it was, I was, I learned from a very early age to um, eat to entertain, I'll call it, instead of eating to nourish. And, you know, I, uh, I lived my life that way for 45 years. And it was my kids that kind of flip that switch for me. And, you know, I still remember the day standing in my, in my kitchen with my daughter, my then five-year-old daughter. And we were talking, I think I was joking with her about a, a boyfriend at daycare and, and for some, somehow the thought of marriage, my daughter getting married, got into my head. And I thought, I started thinking, how old am I going to be when this little girl is being, when I'm going to be walking this little girl down the aisle. And I'll tell you what, that really scared me. And it kind of brought all that stuff back to me of what I was doing. And I realized standing right there that a, I needed to make some changes because I was realizing that, that, you know, at the end of the day, I'm the biggest, one of the biggest examples to my kids. Their mother is the other big example. Um, and I was starting to train my kids when I knew, which was fast food, junk food, entertain myself with food instead of nourish myself with food. So I was really lucky, you know, about seven years ago, I had that, that breakthrough moment. And a lot of it was because of the fact that I found this company period that we're going to talk a little bit about today. Um, I've learned so much about food in the last seven years, trying to make myself better. And then ultimately kind of, you know, change the conversation at my dinner table with my kids, try and give them some kind of the awareness that I was waking up to when it came to the food that I was eating. Um, you know, the fact that 75% of the food that we buy in a grocery store is processed. The fact that just about everything that we eat now has some sort of sugar in it, whether it's naturally occurring or not, unfortunately more not these days. Um, preservatives, chemicals, all the stuff we've been putting in the food. You guys, you, we were talking a little bit about, about glyphosate and, um, you know, the chemicals that are happening in the growing process that are getting into the foods and that are getting into our bodies and, and messing us up. And that's as adults. You can imagine that would be amplified in a little body. So 
you know, that's a lot of why I, I do what I do. And I love the opportunity to talk about kids and, and kids nutrition. Um, you know, I want to just real quick state that I'm not a certified nutritionist. I'm not a doctor. Um, I'm a dad. I'm a dad who took the time to get aware about what I was eating, um, what that was providing for me. And I've, you know, I've, I've learned a lot, as I said, over the last seven years of, of how important the food is for the fuel for the daily things that we do every day. And, you know, you can, you can choose crappy fuel and you can choose really good fuel. And I'm certainly leaning more towards the other side. As I said, I'm a dad of three kids, so I'm not perfect. You know, we, we eat pizza, we eat chicken wings. We, we're not vegan. We're a balanced, we're a balanced family. And, you know, bringing some easy nutritional solutions along with um, those discussions and that awareness that we can be having with our kids around, you know, the fact that going to a, a drive through will, will give you a, a yummy meal that will fill the hole, but, but having them understand what nutritional value is in food is super important. You know, I, I'm hearing everybody talking about, and I've seen the, the school boards now bringing in financial literacy into the, you know, into the schools at, the, at a young age. And that's, that's amazing. We need to do the same thing with food. And, you know, that's kind of why folks like us get together and have these discussions. So, um, that's part one, I guess. Um, you know, I guess in terms of, of superfoods, real food, I guess you would call it, well, maybe that can be the, the next topic here. I, I'm, I'm amazed at, at how much what, of what we call food really isn't these days. Um, you know, at the end of the day, the goal of, of the food that we eat, as I said, is, is fuel, is getting the, the vitamins, the minerals, the, um, the things that we need, that our bodies need to, to thrive, to work optimally. And sadly, a lot of the food that we eat is actually counter to that, where, you know, and, and I think a lot of us have experienced this, anybody that has that not so healthy lunch, um, you know, before COVID, and this is one of the blessings of, of COVID and a lot of people being home is I do think we're starting to eat a little healthier now. You know, we're less dependent on that fast food. I, I, working in an office, you, you know, you take that one hour lunch break and you go get food. But by two o'clock, you're crashing. You're crashing, your mind's shutting down. And, and I was there, you know, I've been a business owner for a lot of years and, and I've realized and this is a lot of the other message that I try and bring to the world as well is, hey, business owners, you got to take better care of yourself to take better care of your business. Um, you know, and whether that means being more productive at work or whether that means being able to come home and be present with your family, your kids when, you, when work is done. Um, you know, those are all things that I've experienced in my my journey along the way here is, you know, I'm a, I'm a better business person. I think more clearly because I eat cleaner food. Um, you know, I set that example for my kids. I set that example for other business owners out there and it's not, it's not drastic. You know, I'm not, I'm not carrying a, a, a vegan flag flag and say, you know, give up meat and do all these, these things that, that people aren't willing to do. You know, I, I'm saying let's, find some balance. Let's bring some real nutrition back into your life and see what that does. And, and Quinn, you know, we were talking about that before we got on here. And I, I love hearing these stories where, where people are trying these things and they're like, you know, I, I noticed this right away. Um, and that's, that's the difference. You know, that's the difference between eating foods that have lots of vitamin C, D, B, 12s, whatever it is you're looking for all in one thing, instead of, you know, going to the cupboard and pulling out a bunch of bottles to get those vitamins that you think you need, by the way, in the, in a lot of cases, depending on your shopping preferences, those, those vitamins are synthetically made. So great that you're getting the vitamins, but perhaps the vehicle that's delivering those vitamins is setting up all kinds of other problems for you in your body, whether that's inflammation, um, reactions, you know, I, 
I like to tell people eat food that you don't, that your body doesn't react to that your body was willing to receive, you know, and um, back to what I was saying originally, I think we've been, we've been trained to, uh, to think differently. And that's the power of marketing. That's the power of, of colors in the grocery stores. Um, but, you know, I guess the first rule you asked me, what, what can we do? The first rule really is shop as much as you can in those outer aisles of the grocery store. That's where the real food lives. Uh, um, you know, freshly baked goods. Um, obviously, the, the, uh, the vegetables and fruits are all kind of right as you enter the store in more, most cases to give you that impression of fresh. But know that as soon as you leave that first aisle, <laughs> you're just leaving all that fresh behind, typically, right? Uh, everything else is in a box or a bag or a can. And um, so, you know, shop from those uh, outer aisles. The other thing I'm hearing a lot from, you know, holistic practitioners and doctors these days with everything going on is, is eat the rainbow. You know, um, we eat a lot of brown food, fried food, typically in our lives. Um, the more colors on your plate, typically the healthier you're going to be. And that's just a, a, a simple rule to follow, you know. Um, a lot of that color comes from the vegetables and the fruits that we eat. Um, and that needs to be, I think, a little more dominant in our, in our lives. You know, my, my middle kid, I think he was born with it. You know, he, he would, from, from a very young age, um, you know, he would plow through an entire pint of blueberries. And that was his thing. You know, that, that was a snack for him. And he was thrilled. Um, and I saw that happening versus my other two. And, and it was neat to watch the, the differences in the way they think. And we've kind of all ended up in a happier place, partly because of their habits, partly because of the example, I think, that I'm setting. Um, but I'm also not taking it, taking a, a, an authoritarian approach with my kids. I'm trying to take more of an understanding approach. I'm not forcing any of these, these superfoods that I have on my kids. Um, you know, I'm helping them understand. And, and I'll be honest with you, it's taken a while. My 16 year old who, when I got started was nine in the superfood world. And, you know, he turned his nose up at it for years, but he's 16 now he's working out. Um, you know, the, uh, the can't beat this that we talked about Quinn, he loves that for his workouts. Um, and I love the fact that my 16 year old is going into the gym thinking natural. You know, I spent a lot of years in the gym industry. Um, I was running a company uh, called Grizzly Fitness here in Canada for a lot of years. So I saw a lot of what was going on in the gyms. The thing that scared me the most was what was happening at the younger ages. And I see it now, you know, 20 years ago, HGH, steroids, was a back alley thing. Now it's in the gyms. It's talked about freely in the gyms and, and advice is given by some trainers on, on using the stuff. And, and I think that's, that's, as a dad, I think that's horrible. You know, that's one of the things I make sure my kids know about is that's not how to do this. And, and, you know, and I've, I've worked with athletes that have done that and have now also done the natural side of it. And they're getting way more results from the natural side of it without all the damage that comes with that. Now, that's really where I learned about the damage. Um, I worked with natural athletes 20 years ago that are, some of them are no longer alive. And I say again, natural athletes, these are people that didn't stick needles in their arms. They took a lot of products off the shelf. And sadly, as the ingredients of those products diminished, so did their health, their uh Organ functions typically were, were what was, uh, was the real issue. But again, that comes back to the toxicity. You know, the same toxicity that is in these healthy supplements to some degree is in the food that we eat every day. And, um, you know, I think it's time to kind of wake up to that, to stand up to that, especially if you're a parent. Thanks, Jeff. I remember uh, years ago when I was writing one of my books, I made chewing consciously a focus of one of the weeks of this protocol that I did. And at that time I had been eating clean, not necessarily right, but I'd been eating clean. So 
what was so impactful as I was really slowing down this process of chewing and keeping the food in my mouth until it became liquid, you can really taste the chemicals when you st suddenly start eating something that's not as clean, if you've been fairly clean eating. And I think that's part of our, our whole issue is we rush through everything. I'm not really all for having those discussions around the table with dinner. I think eating should be something that you do in and of itself. We can't chew and talk. And that's the problem I always find with these, like, you know, let, let's have a family dinner and let's like catch up. It's like, well, when you're eating, you're supposed to be eating though and chewing. You're not supposed to be talking because I mean, for me, if I'm eating something like spinach, I don't want green spinach in my teeth. So I'll swallow it too fast without chewing just so that I don't look silly. But that's why I would always prefer to just eat alone and make eating the focus of what I'm doing, because I agree we're we're not supposed to eat to entertain we're supposed to eat to nourish. So this whole lifestyle that we have around consumption of, of food and, and then we're doing it in a rush. And so we're not chewing, we're swallowing whole parts of food. And there, there's a whole, you know, process around how I see we're supposed to be digesting properly through the mechanical aspect exactly. of chewing and diaphragmatic breathing that doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, it, it is pretty incredible and, and how we quickly adapt to those chemicals and we don't even recognize that they're in there if that's what you've been doing for a long time. So it's lovely when we start cleaning out the body and then we start to really, like I used, I lived on diet Coke when I was a teenager, all I wanted was to be thin. So my sister and I, we'd go and we'd get those big gulps, those liters of diet Coke and we'd drive and we'd smoke and we would drink this stuff. And it's like, what is like, what is that? You know, like, no wonder. <laughs> well, and, and, and you know, diet Coke is a great example of, of kind of what's wrong with our system right now, you know, diet, diet Coke. Great. That's gotta be healthier than regular Coke. Right. Well, if you dig deeper into that, it, it probably isn't, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm not going to get specific again. I'm not, I'm not a scientist, but what I do know is uh, when you start adding chemical based sugars to something to make it sugar free. Um, again, we're going down the wrong road. We're going down that road of, well, let's make stuff in a lab instead of let's grow stuff on a, on a field, you know, and, and, it just, it, that's a big part of the fight, you know, whether it's, it's healthy, this diet, that um, there's a lot of things wrong with those healthy foods. And that's, again, the power of marketing and, and it's, it's what makes it so hard. It, it's what makes it so hard as a dad, you, you really have to, you know, you've got to be a label reader. You've got to up your awareness, and, and, you know, when you, even just to go shopping in the grocery store, and I never thought about this stuff 10 years ago, you know, and I had, I had two of my three kids at that point, formulas for babies are not clean products, you know, they're convenience products. And that's really at the end of the day, what a lot of this stuff comes down to is, you know, in the fifties, sixties and seventies, we went through this whole convenience phase and it really attacked our food system over those years. And I grew up with that. Now, I remember we used to have cheese from an aerosol can. Can you believe that? <laughs> I remember that. And, you but, know, um, in, in the moments, it was actually really good. But <laughs> now I wouldn't touch that with a touch. I hear you. Pole, though. I hear yeah. you on that. Yeah. No, it would just make my skin crawl. To well, think and I think that awareness is... I think that awareness is starting to grow beyond just the three of us. You know, there's a lot of other people that are, especially these days, you know, there's a lot of people waking up to, Hey, maybe I should think about taking better care of myself. You know, again, I've been doing this for a lot of years and this year's resolution season was wilder than I've ever seen. You know, people were isolated. They, um, you know, they gained that, that I call it the happy weight that we gained during COVID trying to keep ourselves happy. Um, and people are waking up pretty quickly to, I need to be healthy. I need to be more active at home. I need to be doing some of the things that I would do outside of the home in my home right now through this. Uh, but I think people are also really waking up to the fact that what they eat matters.
you know, when, mm-hmm. it, when it comes to their overall health, when it comes to their immune system. You know, we talked a little, about, a little bit about gut health earlier. And, you know, that is, it all starts in the gut. You know, 75% of your immune system is based in your gut. And if your gut's not working well, not only are you not absorbing the nutrients and the minerals that you're trying to absorb from the food that you're eating, but those other systems that are all interconnected in our body aren't working very well. And your immune system needs to be working as strong as it can be right now. Um, That serotonin needs to be happening in your body so that you're waking up happy despite everything that's going on. So there's so many things that are related to that, that if you just stop and... You know, I always, I, I, I talk to a lot of people that I work with about the gut first, as, as we did today, um, because that's the, that's mission control for our bodies. And if we get that working really well, I guarantee you everything else is going to work really well. And, well, I, and I, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. no, I was just going to say like, ironically, because yeah, I, I totally agree about the gut. Like, ironically, that's why we always start the first position, even with block therapy in the belly, we focus on the gut because we talk about that too, like 77 70 to 75% of the immune function resides in the gut. So we got to make sure that that's not compressed, but we're also like, that's why I really see this being as a really great combo. Like I I've personally, like I'm, I'm noticing already a difference and I've only maybe taken some of these products for um, superfoods (laughs) for uh, a week or two. Right. And, and just kind of touching base on, Cause, cause you were mentioning to, I love what you said about your kids. Like you don't force this on them. You just, you educate them on this so they can make their own decision. And I think that's a really smart approach because marketing is so powerful nowadays. It, we don't know what to believe. It's, it's just, it gets our brain so confused on what is healthy, what's not. It's like, wh- why are all these main media um, outlets or whatever, just always talking about, eating garbage food like that makes me question a lot of things um and then as soon like everything changes when you start to well i feel like a massive change when i start to eat clean or um start introducing more superfoods my brain functions different my energy is different like everything's so connected um so that's why i love testing these out right now because even going back to when we were talking about pre-workouts like I was that guy I didn't do anything um um that wasn't natural I I always like I never took steroids or PEDs before but like yeah those pre-workouts are a drug they're not good they're they're actually really scary because you start off with a little bit and then you feel like a like out of your mind, like you're almost like a super human in a way, but then you also have like heart palpitations and you just feel like off. And then that really messed me up. And I was talking to you about that before Jeff. I'm like, I had a scary experience with that, but even testing the, so is it the can't beat this? Yep. That one, yeah. So I was testing that out and it's like completely organic and natural. And I felt completely different. Like it felt like clean energy. And, and, you know, it, it, it's a pre-workout, but a lot, I know so many people that use that just as an energy drink, you know, a scoop of that in a, in water, it's beetroot. It's all natural. There's no added sugars. It's, it's naturally occurring sugar that's happening in the beets. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're a, it's way cheaper than, you know, these energy shots and the red bulls and all that stuff that's out there, but 100%. it's way safer at the end yeah. of the day too. You know, it's not a chemical concoction. It's water and it's, it's living ingredients. And that's, mm-hmm. it's just smart. Yeah, totally. Well, and, and again, like, I think that's a really smart approach, just starting to educate because people like for me, I had to go through the ringer of going down that unhealthy route of taking a bunch of these weird supplements because I didn't know. And sometimes people need to learn the hard way. So going back to the educate, don't force, I think actually that's very similar to what we even talked about with block. We don't force, we, we don't force the tissue to release. We um, persuade the tissue to release. It's kind of like that. Like, I think that phrase is just so powerful in so many different ways and forms. So um, yeah, I'm again, like I'm really enjoying these products and I'm noticing the very first thing I noticed was a change in my gut. 
And it just felt like I never had issues with my gut. I, I also want to emphasize that. Um, but it felt like my gut was, I, I mentioned this to a couple of our coworkers, I felt like it was giving me a hug. Like my gut was just happy. You know, when you just feel that like tingling happiness. Um, and I think that's part of the antioxidant in it. Um, well, you know what else? I'll save that for you to, to talk more about that. But um, yeah, so far, really, really enjoying it. So just talking a little Good. bit about yeah, this force. You know that... Sorry. Sorry, go ahead, Deanna. Talking a little bit about this force versus persuasion. Um, it, it reminds me of um, a parable or a, a story when I was a kid. And you would see this person on a horse having a shawl around them and the wind and the sun were having a bet who was stronger. So the goal was to get this um, shawl to be taken off this person, right? So the wind is blowing and blowing and then the harder he blows, the tighter the person's grabbing onto this shawl. And then now it's the sun's turn and the sun shines brightly and the person takes the shawl off. So I love that parable because that is like so, so much of what we really need to do today. And, and just getting back a little bit to the kids, the reason that we're starting this BT Academy for Kids is because I see the situation that they're in these days. It's a combination of so many things, the posture from technology, the foods, the stress, the inability to play. I mean, I remember hanging from trees and, you know, my mom would let me out for hours and not even think twice to where I was because there was no concern about, you know, th there was less fear in the world. So we were able to play more. We were able to have more fun and just be kind of free in our bodies. And so much of that has been taken away. So th there's so many aspects to why kids today aren't as healthy as they can be. So even implementing one little thing, two little things at a time, like it's, it's like dieting, like don't, don't take away what you love, add in something good. And then eventually the other stuff will fall away. It's that persuasion piece. So from the perspective of being a dad and feeding your kids um, and giving them these wonderful products that you have to share, what have you noticed since you started them on them that has altered for them, whether it be focus or energy or, or just health in general? Um, well, a, a few things. So I, I use a few different products with, with my kids. As I mentioned my 16 year old, he's actually starting to sort of graduate into some of the adult products now and use those as well. But there are, there's a few products that I've definitely leaned on over the years that, you know, that one thing that you mentioned, I'll see if I can get this without too much brightness on it is what we call epigenius kids. And this is, um, as it says on the bottom here, this is daily superfoods for kids. So this is basically a mix of a few things. We're really going after a lot of the things that we talked about at a kid level. So gut health, for example, uh, you know, the biomedic that we is a proprietary product that, that, uh, that Purin developed specifically to remove the glyphosate from the, from the gut. Um, and for those that don't know, glyphosate is the key ingredient in Roundup. Uh, Roundup is the pesticide that is sprayed on almost all of the commercial crops that are out there. And, and, and end up in the, uh, in the food, you know, whether it's on the corn of the wheat or whatever it happens to be, the soy crop that's being harvested. A lot of those things that I just mentioned, corn, soy, those are core ingredients, core processed ingredients uh, that turn into a lot of different things that go into a lot of different foods. So that chemical is in it right from the field and ending up in that food that it eventually becomes. Um, so, and you know, Jeff, sorry, I, if, talk, if I could just ask, so what, yeah. I mean, uh, for, for the listeners that don't know, what are the negative effects of the glyco glycophate? Say, well, there's all kinds of, <laughs> um, you know, for, for adults, um, you know, if you think about it, the, I guess the biggest effect is just the, the nutritional, um, uh, deficiencies that come with that because at the end of the day, as I said, we eat food at, at our core to pick up the nutrients and the minerals and the vitamins and everything that we need for our body to operate and function properly. So this glyphosate, if you think about the lining of your stomach as having little fingers, they call them villi. 
Um, those are what absorb those nutrients and minerals into your bloodstream as you eat the food. So that's all part of the digestive tract. And that's where we pick up that stuff. Very much like smoking coats the lungs with a tar-like substance. Glyphosate has a very similar effect to these villi. So um, I guess number one is, you know, there's, you're not pulling in the nutrients the way you should be the more damaged your gut is in that regard. Um, the other side of it is, you know, we see a lot more instances of more in adults at this point, but leaky gut syndrome, you know, it's something that we hear a lot about these days. Um, one of the things that this chemical is doing is creating micro perforations in the lining of our stomach. And, uh, and that's causing this, um, leaky gut syndrome, which at the end of the day, for those that aren't familiar with leaky gut, basically it's, it's your gut leaking to the insides of your body and your immune system is going after that. It's attacking that. It's seeing it as foreign substance in your body as it should. And it's going into overdrive um, to deal with that. And, and, and the fact that it's in overdrive is actually a lot of the syndrome that comes from leaky gut is the, uh, the overreaction of your, uh, of your immune system. So, you know, from a kid point of view, I'm, I've seen all kinds of studies, whether it is correlations to uh, childhood diseases, um, you know, things like ADHD and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, you, when, you, when you do the correlation of the use of this chemical to the incidence of increase of, of these illnesses we're seeing in the kids, it's pretty startling. Um, you know, there's studies going on right now that are, are looking at the endocrine system, looking at the rep reproductive system. We don't know, you know, a lot of this stuff yet. Um, and the scary part of some of this glyphosate stuff is we're passing it down generation to generation as we have our kids if it's in us, it's in them at the end of the day. Right. And that can be really scary. Um, you know, again, I'm not a, a doctor or an expert, but I've seen some studies that draw a lot of scary correlations. I'll, I'll leave, I'll leave the audience to kind of do their own research on this thing called glyphosate, uh, G L Y P H O S A T E for those that want to search it up. Uh, it's worth looking, especially if you're a parent, it's worth looking at and understanding and knowing that it's there and that it's in the food that, that we're giving our kids, um, whether you know it or not. And, and that's the frustrating part for me is we haven't really talked about it. And those that have talked about it have kind of been pushed to the wayside along the way. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think it's super important that, uh, um, we help our kids with their guts. You know, they're not, they're not certainly not thinking about it. They're not aware of gut health and, uh, you know, gut flora and prebiotics and probiotics. Uh, but at the end of the day, if we can help them avoid this stuff and for the adults, you know, this biomedic product that we've been talking about, um, it's been clinically proven now in some, in some peer reviewed studies that say it will help to heal those gut permutation, those gut perforations. It will um, obviously re reduce the level of the glyphosate. We, we, the study that we, we did um, reduced it by 74% in the test group uh, over the course of six weeks. So that, that's pretty dramatic. Um, now, the thing that I thought when I first took that product was great, you know, I'm gonna get it out of me and then I'm all good. Quinn, you'll notice this when, and Deanna, you'll notice this too. When you stop taking that biomedic, that's probably when you're going to notice it the most mm. because that stuff is always coming in, whether it's what right. we eat, mm -hmm. it's in our environment, it's in our water. Uh, you know, if you're a golfer, that stuff is sprayed on the golf course weekly. Um, so, you know, it, there's, there's a lot of things to think about. I can see you're a golfer, Jeff. Gut health. I, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I put my golf clubs here over the winter so that I can dream a little bit about uh, nice. the season. No, I, I feel you there. No, and, and I agree. Like I've, I've, I, I play a lot of golf too. And 
Um, I've been warned about those chemicals. Like, that's the thing. It's very hard to avoid the chemicals, right? Especially yeah. if you love, it's not like I'm just going to stop playing golf. It's like, what can we do to counter those chemicals? Um, same with food. It's like, I love how you mentioned earlier, you're not perfect. Like you still like eat chicken wings and pizza and here or there. And I think that's important to have a balanced life and a balanced um, diet. And even when it comes to if you want to be vegan or vegetarian or paleo or whatever it is, it's like, just try it out first. Like that's, I'm a big advocate of see how you feel when you do it, because I noticed some pros and cons when I went, tried being vegan or sorry, vegetarian, not vegan um, for like a month or two, a few years ago. And I did feel good, but there's also some consequences for my body type. And um, so, yeah, I, th I think with anything, people just need to test things out for themselves, but become more body aware and conscious of those changes. And as you mentioned about the biomedic, that you might not feel it until after. I felt it right away because I'm fairly conscious with my body. I, I noticed a, a different sensation in my gut and in my energy and which led to clarity, mental clarity. Um, so I'm sure if I stop taking it for about a week or so that I'll be like, okay, all, all of these chemicals that I am taking in inadvertently or just unconsciously, it's like, wow, it, it, it's a bit of a wake up call showing you how contaminated everything is. So like sticking to the outskirts of the aisles um, in a grocery store, the color of the rainbow, not Skittles, <laughs> but like but right. fruits and vegetables. Um, and I think that's exactly. super important. And, and again, it's like trial and error. People just have to try out and see what works for them. Well, and at the end of the day, it, it's hard, right? Mm -hmm. It's hard as a parent to be able to find that balance. You know, I, I think it's, it's 10 servings of fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. That's hard. I'll tell you, not as easy, a dad, not easy. that's hard to do. Yeah, you know, that, that's a lot of why we do these these sorts of things. You know, this is a simple chocolate shake that you can give your kids. So I mentioned it's got our biomedic. It's got a kid's dose of the biomedic built right into it. So they're getting their, their daily gut health from that. Uh, we've got organic vegan protein in here. Uh, we have an antioxidant blend. Uh, we have a functional fat blend, help for the, the brain development, um, you know, all kinds of stuff in here that is all designed to give the kids what they need on a daily basis. The, the, you know, we call it a, a multivitamin and a shake, but it goes well beyond that. It gives them you know, that, that protein boost that they need to be active in a healthy way. Um, you know, so that's one example of, of one of the things that I use with my kids. I'll tell you the other one, there's, there's two little products. Now I mentioned that I was pretty upfront with my kids. Um, there's actually a couple of products that when I first got started, I was sneaking this into their, uh, into their water or their juice in the morning. Uh, this one's called in focus and it's just a simple tincture uh, again, certified organic. You can see that uh, label at the bottom there. And this is designed to help give kids a little bit of focus, a little bit of calm focus. Uh, with everything going on these days, you know, I know my kids were way over programmed again, another blessing of COVID being able to kind of stop and pause and take a look back mm -hmm. at what we were doing. Um, but, you know, having a simple herbal supplement that I can slip into my kids drinks that are going to help them be more effective at school, maybe move, be more effective in sport. And I'll tell you where I saw it the most um, and where I started getting pull instead of push was with my middle kid. He was a, a rep hockey player and I snuck it in his water bottle a couple of times. And the second time he asked me, did you put something in there? And I said, yeah, I did. I put, I, I put the in focus in. And, and again, it's just a dropper full. And he said, let's keep doing that. Cause he nice. noticed the difference in his game. Right. So, yeah. uh, and you know, right now we, I don't have it handy here, but we have another one of these called immune shield and it is all about, you know, helping that little immune system stay, um, active, healthy, and working in the favor of the child instead of the other way around. Um, you know, and, and Danny asked about some of the, you know, some of the things that have happened in my family um 
you know, my, I think the, the biggest thing I want to share right now is the fact that we were that typical family of five where one of the kids would come home with the cold or the flu from school and it would cycle through the whole family. And that happened for a lot of years. And as we started getting more into the superfoods, um, you know, it kind of started with me um, and that, that thing kind of started bouncing off of me instead of taking me down. I was always the one that went down the hardest with that, that cold or flu that came into the house. But it often went around twice. I think we had a wow. season where it cycled three times through our house. We don't get that anymore. Right. So our shields are up is, is really what it comes down to. You know, we call that thing immune shield. And when our immune systems are working optimally, those things, for lack of a better description, bounce off us. We actually assimilate them. Mm-hmm. But um they don't affect us as much. And, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled that we don't get sick two, three, four times a winter, you know? And the, the other thing I'll mention as well is pre superfoods as a family. Now, granted my kids were a little younger then, so there's probably more stuff going on. We averaged in 2014, that was my first entry into superfoods, 14 prescriptions as a family. Last year, we had none. The year before that, we had one. The year mm-hmm. before that, we had none. And the year before that, I think we had two. Hmm. So, you know, working. we're, yeah, we're just, we're going to the doctor less. And I think that's the goal here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I have to say, isn't it absolutely incredible how resilient our bodies are? We We've been we've been put into this world and we are, you know, flogged with chemicals, flogged with, you know, EMFs, like all, all these things are happening, misinformation, um, you know, right now masks, which, you know, are absolutely affecting our ability to breathe properly. Mm-hmm. Like all of these things. Yet I was just listening to a study on that last night. It's, it's a little bit scary. It is a little bit scary. The, the, the pneumonias and the bacterial stuff that, can potentially still be coming down the pipe from, from some of the actions we're taking. Here. Exactly. So to, to have, to have this ability to be so resilient though, and our, our bodies are so incredibly amazing when we give it something positive, it responds when we give it something negative, it responds too. But I think often we, we don't experience that as like a cause and effect because those are usually unconscious onslaughts. When we consciously make a decision and we say, we're going to do, this month, I'm going to do one thing that I'm going to add in that's going to be positive for my health. You know, if we're aware of those changes by the end of a year, it's truly incredible how much we can improve in our health. And we see it all the time in our community. And that's by doing one thing. You know, if we can add in from different levels, different aspects of health and and what we can do to change things, I really do believe we have the opportunity to bring our youth into a future that will be really bright and exciting for all of us because we need them. You know, I think our generation has created a ton of problems and we need really bright, um, healthy people to help us sort them out and to figure out solutions so that we can keep going on this planet and we can keep, you know, succeeding as a, as a human race. And the kids right now, they're in a destructive pattern and it's not their fault. And it's not the fault of the parents. It's simply the conditioning that we have and, and how we've come up to this point. So for anybody that takes one step, that one step will lead to another. And I, I think people get overwhelmed. They think, oh my gosh, I'm so unhealthy. I've been, I've been doing all these bad things. I remember reading, um, I can't remember which book it was, but it was a great book because he said, if you eat McDonald's every day of your life, don't suddenly become vegan because nature abhors a gradient. Second law of thermodynamics. Like you can't go from zero to a hundred overnight, maybe eat at McDonald's three times for this month. And then maybe one time the next month and teach yourself to make it simple instead of just going all or nothing. So I love that. Like you can add in a drop into your water and you can make a difference and you can, you know, replace one meal with a really good tasting shake. Cause you might have pizza that night, but you know, already that what they have in their diet 
is going to sustain them for the rest of that day. So those little bits of things are really the key. And it's how we teach people in block therapy as well. What we do all the time is what adds up to create the posture that we have that we're now working to undo and correct. So it's those little bits every single day that make the difference. And I mean, I remember from years of being a dieter, you know, and I'd be thinking, oh God, I've got this wedding to go to in a month. So how can I starve myself this month to fit into that dress as opposed to what can I just do all the time? So you're always feeling like you're worthy of putting on that, Mm. whatever you want to do, right. And to show yourself off to the world. And I think if we can get to that mindset, where it doesn't have to be an all or nothing. I mean, that was me. Um, it, it still is part of my persona. So I still struggle with that myself. But I'm, I'm so happy now that I know and understand what I know. And I can still do so much better. But that's the point. We are so resilient and we are so able to change just by those little bits of things that we do every single day. So I love what you're sharing. Can you share, because I remember when we were talking initially about the way that they process this stuff. You've got, Purium has a very specific way that they do that to not lose the integrity of the ingredients, right. because I know a lot of really good products out there have processing methods that kind of kill all the good anyway. So that's different for what you have. Can you talk a bit about that? Yeah. So, you know, you hit the nail on the head. You know, there's a lot of, of powder form stuff out there. And depending on how you process that, um, it can be good or it can be not so good. What we've done is we've taken the whole plant, whether it's broccoli, kale, um, wheatgrass, whatever it happens to be, you know, um, and we dehydrate, <coughs> excuse me, we dehydrate using a, a low heat, kind of a wind tunnel almost effect um, is the way that this is done so that we don't heat the product in any way that damages the life force that exists in that plant. That's what we're really trying to bring to the table at the end of the day is the life force that's in those things that we eat. Um, and there's a lot of ways to kill that life force, you know, high heat, um, freezing, you know, a, a lot of that kind of stuff will, will damage the, the nutritional value of, of that food. So as I mentioned, you know, we're, we're zero processed ingredients. We're zero preservatives. Um, so we've had to be creative in making a product that has that, you know, the, 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 the power shake, for example, Quinn, that we were talking about earlier, um, you know, that the, the two scoops of, of that shake is the nutritional equivalent of five to six superfood salads, right. In a shake, but we've maintained the nutritional value of it versus it just being a, a green powder, you know, that's then been added with sugars and preservatives and whatever else that's in, unfortunately, the average product out there. Um, you know, so it's, it's important to, to seek the real food, you know, and, and it can be difficult. It can be inconvenient to sit down and eat five super, superfood salads for, for lunch. Right. That's just not realistic for a lot of people. So getting that nutritional value in a, um, you know, in a powder form, in a capsule form with a, with a live ingredient in there is huge. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I know, think- it, it comes back to that, that life force. So literally when you, you guys have probably seen this as you add the water to these shakes, you'll, you, know, you see the bubbling and, and mm-hmm. the stuff going on. That's, the, it's, it's reconstituting back to live cells, live food. You know, it's about the most convenient kind of raw food option that you can get out there. Right. And, and, and the and great if, thing about it too is because it's in powder form, uh, back to the absorption side of things that we were talking about before, it's extremely efficient through the body. You know, it absorbs very quickly. Um, it absorbs with very little waste, um, you know, and back to what you were saying, Deanna, about chewing, you know, the mouth is the first part of the digestive system. And if we're not doing a good job there, that's a big part of the problem of that nutritional uptake that should be happening in the gut. You know, when you're swallowing that piece of meat whole, 
um, to carry on the conversation at the at the family dinner. Um, you know, that's that's not how we were supposed to do it. You know, so we've t- taken that sort of same approach and trying to reintroduce real food into people's lives in a convenient way. And, you know, Deanna, you mentioned the, the habits thing. Um, I wanted to just real quick mention um, habits for so many people is about willpower. But when you get your body working on your side and, and Quinn, you were, you're kind of, you were kind of talking about this. Um, I was amazed at how my cravings became body based and not brain based after a while. Um, my body was asking for things that my brain would never have thought to give it. And that's, that's an been a, interesting, that's been really thing. cool. I've never heard somebody say that before, actually. That, that's really cool. Like, yeah, because now you're listening to your body, not your brain. Yeah. I, I think that's brilliant. And, and I fully agree. And just to cycle back to the kids real quick, you know, we talked about adapting. Um, you know, our kids are the most adaptable of all of us, uh, especially when it comes to their, their health, and their, their, their growing health systems within their bodies. Um, you know, they're, they're very adaptable. Their immune system is more adaptable than, than our older immune systems, for example. Um, you know, part of why I'm okay with my kids going back to school, they were supposed to go back today, but we're having a snow day on the first day back, of course. Um, but, uh, you know, they've got strong bodies. Uh, they were built that way to, to grow and adapt. And, you know, the more that we can help them do that, the better. You know, I know that one of the biggest benefits for my kids with this homeschooling stuff that we've been, I'll say, forced to do, not necessarily my preference, is they're getting a home-cooked meal every day for lunch. You know, instead of a, a, a sub from Subway that the school brings in or pizza, pizza or whatever it is, you know, they're getting a real meal, you know, and they're getting, <laughs> here's the key, parents, they're getting the fruits and vegetables that you don't find on a menu when you're out at a restaurant. And, and you know, even the finest restaurants, the, the, the vegetables are for show, you know. So we need to think about that more. You know, we need to think about making sure we're covering the food groups. We need to make sure the kids are getting the multivitamins, the nutrients, the healthy fats, all the things that it's gotten really hard to do. And, you know, I've looked for years as a dad, there's not an instruction manual on any of this stuff. You got to figure it out. And to be able to prevent the sickness, you know, when, when we factor in the time, the cost, the energy, the depressing factor of the whole thing, when, when somebody in family is sick, the entire family suffers and it takes away joy and it puts all your attention and focus into that thing. So, um, I, I mean, prevention is worth a pound of cure. Of course it is, but, um, this is something that's just really simple. And that's the good thing. Um, I, I think it's wonderful too that people are, you know, cooking their own meals these days. And, and I'm, I'm doing the same too. I mean, I, I ate out way too often in a restaurant before. So I love the fact that I'm getting back to the basics. And now I don't want that restaurant food because now I've trained myself that, you know, I, I really enjoy knowing that I'm getting the organic avocado oil as I'm cooking things as opposed to whatever a restaurant might use when making things. So um, I think this is wonderful. But the, the, the simplicity of what your products offer to parents, again, just to give that peace of mind um, is so helpful because we can't control what they're going to do when they leave the home necessarily and what they're going to eat. But if you know that they've gotten every single nutrient in this that they require, then, then there's that balance piece. And that's what we have to do because we'll never make every, anyone perfect. My goodness. Well, and here's the really cool part. And I, and you know, this, this thought occurred to me a couple of years ago, um, I'm creating a legacy in my family by doing this because the understanding that my kids have in the same way that for generations, we trained, trained families to, you know, eat convenience food and use drive throughs and everything else. We can go the other way. 
And that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm creating a legacy within my family that's going to last for generations because my kids are more food aware than their peers are. And they're going to grow up with that. And that's going to amplify as they get older and become parents. And they're going to teach that to their kids. And that's what really helps me sleep at night. I love and, that. Absolutely. I think that's just amazing. And yeah, Quinn, what were you going to say there? Well, I, I also just want to mention, like, we, I think all three of us agree on this, that we don't want to be replacing, replacing all of our food with powders by any means. But what I think is amazing with this space man is, food, I call that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what I think that's really cool with this is you're talking about listening to your body rather than listening to your mind. I think taking these super foods are going to help people do exactly that. They're going to start listening to their body rather than listening to their mind. So they start taking in these superfoods. They're going to start feeling different and then their cravings are going to start to change. And that can lead to eating more whole, whole foods, more organic foods. Um, are, again, those aisles on the outskirts of, of the, uh, of the grocery store. And I think that's what's super important because I, um, I think all three of us are extremely busy 24 seven and there's times where it's like, okay, I'm either going to, I'm either on the run and I'm going to grab something super quick that might not be ideal for my health, or I can quickly pack this shake type of thing. And when I physically and mentally notice a difference when I'm taking it and I feel calm, like, like even right now, my gut just feels good from, <laughs> from taking it this morning. Um, I think that's just, the the best replacement because we don't want to necessarily get into the habit of taking powders all the time but i think it's a wonderful complement to what we can all do and to help exactly. train the body um so i just wanted to mention that as well um because i i i think you guys are onto something really amazing here and it's evident because you notice you feel the aliveness to it as well i think that's kind of what i'm feeling because I've taken a lot of stuff. I've tried a lot of different supplements uh, throughout the years. I've, I've slowed down significantly, but Deanna was kind of like my saving grace of getting off of these supplements because you were, you were mentioning that earlier too. Like you have a bunch of friends that either passed away or they have health issues from taking all these other kinds of supplements that are more so viewing it just as, as a business and marketing and whatnot. And yeah that's something I learned when I was in the industry, how powerful that is. Because when you're young, when you're like 15, 16, and you're just starting to get into training and working out and sports and athletics, you want your, your, your brain's like a sponge. You'll, you'll see this marketing. Oh, you can increase your strength and endurance by 350%. It's like, you want to bet? <laughs> like like it, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. And when I've, tried all those supplements it's it just led to a disaster and my body was got to the point where it rejected it and yeah. i feel quite the opposite with with purium so well you know at the end of the day two things i want to say one is you know purium is is a transformation company we're not a diet company we're not a vegan company we're not any of that kind of stuff we're we're really truly trying to help people change the way they think about food and the way they eat on a daily basis, you know? Um, so yeah, that's, yeah. when you break it down, it's all really simple, really. You know, it's, it's just it make, make some better choices, whether that's one choice today and another choice tomorrow. And that's how it all kind of, kind of builds. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, the one thing that I've learned uh, in all of this is the food system doesn't care about our health and the health system doesn't seem to care about the food. So it's really up to us, you know, and, and as a parent, that's, I think that's a responsibility now that um, you've got to get a little understanding of, of what works when it comes to food and what doesn't, you know, because we've seen a lot of instances of what doesn't. Um, you know, child obesity rates, autism rates, all this stuff, uh, the labels that they're putting on kids in school, you know, I don't think it needs to be that way. I think that 
putting kids on a, and it's not an overnight fix, but, but putting our kids on a better path to better health, to better understanding food and, and what it's there for can have a massive impact on generations to come. And, and what I loved what you said there is, um, you know, again, it, it can be so overwhelming when you as a parent or just as an individual for your own self, you want to take a positive step. And then you go into this world of supplements and you don't have a clue because every supplement's going to claim what it's like walking into a fun house. Well, yeah. Right. (laughs) And I mean, and, and things get expensive and you might try something and and like you you can get extremely lost in the attempt at doing the right thing. So again, I really, because I, this isn't something I've, I've dove a lot into in my life. I have in past, looked at other things. And I've always kind of pushed that whole part away from myself. Um, But I really appreciate what your company is bringing to the table with the way you process things, not process the way you um, put things together and and how you keep that living piece. I drink spring water specifically for that reason. It's alive. Mm -hmm. It still Mm -hmm. has that frequency, that energy that, that the earth gave to it. So if your company has found a way to preserve that life force, to me, that is the most important part about Mm -hmm. how you bring your products together and you package them because um, I too have started and I am enjoying this. I'm I'm new, so I'm going to keep trying new things. I I don't like to try eight things all at once. I like to try a couple of things to see how I feel. But so far, I'm loving it. And yes, you can tell as soon as it's in your mouth, these are quality products because again, I'm very sensitive to that from the, the whole chewing my food. I'm, I'm very much somebody that does take the time most of the time, not always to chew. Um, so I, I have that radar when, when I sense that chemical, my body, my mouth doesn't like it. I, I just don't want it. So um, I'm very excited about uh, continuing mm-hmm. this and trying more things. Well, and you mentioned from the earth, just real quick, you know, I've been flashing this, the silver bag during our discussion I want to mention this, this silver bag is actually a biodegradable pouch. So, you know, the, the supplement industry uh, is traditionally all about these things, right? These big tubs, you see them everywhere. You see them at Walmart, you see them at, uh, at Costco by the pallet. Um, we are moving away from these things. This is probably one of the last power shake contain- plastic containers you're going to see. Because by the end of 2021, that's our goal. It may have gotten a little messed up with the COVID stuff, supply chain and all of that. But our goal is to have all of our products in one of these by the end of this year. Um, And I think that's really cool. Um, Or on our tablet products, capsule products, one of these. This, by the way, is our superfood for dogs. Another cool product, but we'll save that for another day because we're talking about the kids today. <laughs> well, to <laughs> Although many my dogs are kind of kind of like my kids, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, but I, but Isn't you know, I did want to mention because you mentioned you know the the from the earth thing, and we're we're trying to be very at the at the forefront of you know the environmental side of of what we do as well, um, because we want to. Well, at the end of the day, we're trying to make the world a better place in a lot of different ways, whether it's helping people eat better, whether it's cleaning up the trash from the oceans, um, you know, whatever it happens to be, we're doing a lot of the right things for a lot of the right reasons. And it's, it, I think it all comes back to that, that future that we, that we talked about today. Yeah. Awesome. And this, and this just is the best time, as you're mentioning, mentioning earlier to make sure that you're set up at home. You know, like make sure that you got, take the time to make good meals, healthy meals. Um, Again, I I really view Purium as something to teach your body rather than teaching the brain necessarily. I think that's something that I've even gotten away a lot from this discussion. Um, And also like a little home gym or block studio setup, like people need to have things accessible at home because we don't know what's going to happen now and in the future. So I think it's really important for everybody to get on that in a way, because like 
it, it's an awakening. It's an awakening to a different perspective. And we don't know what the future 100% is going to hold with this. Are we going to be working from home forever? Are we going to be going back to work? Places? So. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, hey, because some, some people prefer working at home a thousand percent and some people kind of want to get out and be in that yeah. workforce. But um, so, yeah, I think this is just really giving people to reflect on themselves. And it's, this is an opportunity that people need to take advantage of rather than going down a, a slippery slope of being lazy, ordering and skip the dishes and other, <laughs> just like fast food stuff and, and start putting, taking time and putting care into what you're putting into your body. It's your body. You have to take care of it. And it's never too late to start either. That's something Deanna and I always mention. like it's never too late. So wherever you are, um, in your health journey or in your life, it start, start adding a few things in as Deanna mentioned, don't, don't just eliminate, go from zero to hundred, start adding a few things in, see how your body responds. And yeah. then your body's going to start having different cravings and that's going to lead to a completely different lifestyle and you'll feel amazing. You'll feel amazing. Absolutely. So if somebody wants to start right now with their kids, with their dogs for themselves, um, I know that uh, there, there's an offer that we can provide to anybody to make that first purchase a little kinder. Yeah. So the links that you'll see that I think Quinn, you, you've been sharing yep. some links in the descriptions. Yep. Um, those have a gift code, a gift card built right into them. So, um, you know, one of the things that Purium is really trying to do is, is, allow people to experience this stuff. You know, um, Quinn, you mentioned you're a couple of weeks in and you're really feeling the difference. Mm, big time. Um, you know, we're not a sample company. First of all, samples add a lot of garbage to the earth. Um, so it was something we wanted to stay away from altogether. Um, but, but you can basically try any of these products uh, with that $50 gift card. If you spend $75, the $50 kicks in. So you can get 75 bucks worth of product for $25. Um, it's amazing. And it'll actually, if you, if you, you're going to see a lot of products, there's a lot of good stuff there. Um, if you hit a certain spend level, 25% will kick in. So you're, you're basically $50 or 25% off, whichever is more. Um, so yeah, you know, go shopping, have a look at some of this stuff. The, the, the labels are all there. Uh, you know, we're not hiding anything. You'll see full disclosure on our ingredients, uh, our certifications. Um, we have nothing to hide. And in fact, we don't want to hide what we have because, you know, some of this has been hidden for too long. It's real food. And there isn't really anything else out there like this, uh, you know, whether it's for your kids, whether it's for yourself, uh, for weight loss, for uh, detox for just generally feeling better. You know, we've got, uh, products that will help you naturally deal with, with what life throws at us. Um, you know, so I encourage you to have a look, um, as a dad, I certainly, you know, we focused a lot on the kids today. I'm a huge believer in the, the products that we have for kids. Um, they're they're made for all the right reasons and they give kids all the stuff that they're not getting that's really the simplest way to to describe it so you know i will always invest in my kids especially knowing that this investment is going to pay off for generations to come um but again you know we want you to to have that full experience and i'll also mention as well um you know most of our products are a 30-day supply um, we give, uh, we give everyone a 60 day money back guarantee. So again, allows you to go try that product fully, completely. If you're not completely satisfied, send back the empty containers, the empty bottles, the empty, um, you know, the empty plastic, uh, the empty pouches. Um, and we'll give you your money back. That's how, how strongly we believe in this. That's amazing, Jeff. I mean, right there, like you're you try it. If you don't like it, there you go. I, I think that's a, a beautiful approach to doing this. So um, thank you so much for being our guest today. We're definitely going to have you back. We can um, certainly have so many different topics of discussion. Mm -hmm. And you're, uh, I, again, I'm, I'm very, very excited about continuing to learn about Purium, use it myself, um, experience the wonderful benefits, because 
yeah, we, we got a, we got a lot to do in this world and uh, we want to feel great doing it. So thank mm-hmm. you so much. Exactly. Uh, thank, thank you, you guys. Quinn. Um, and is there any, anything else that we need to share before we. Um, I, I just want to mention if you go on to um, the Purium website and you're looking for something else or other than um, kids or for dogs, just use the, uh, the gift card code block therapy at checkout. And that will uh, activate the the gift card or the twenty five percent. And other than that, that's and that's, and that's, that's all. That's all one word, no spaces. In that. Yeah, no spaces. Exactly, perfect. But other than that, that's everything. So um, if you're watching this on Facebook or live right now, thank you so much for joining. Um, if you're on YouTube, again, thank you. If you have any questions or comments, leave that in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more. So. That's all I have. Again, we could chat forever about this because this is so interesting. But uh, again, we'll have you uh, on here soon. So right. we got to talk about workout stuff next. We do, yeah, man. We go. do. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> we're going to get vibe There's a lot there. of crazy stuff going on in the gyms. Well, nothing's going on in the gyms right now, but... Yeah. typically there's a lot of crazy stuff there, going on in the gym. I've, I've, I've seen a lot of stuff and I'm sure you you've seen even more. So <laughs> that'll be a fun conversation. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, we'll plan that awesome. in the near Thank future. You guys. Appreciate Thanks it. so much, Jeff. Okay. Take right. care. Bye.